Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to bring you a surprisingly efficient and simple strategy for round 100 plus on Firebase C. Now this strategy is surprisingly fast for the new map and uh, before we get into it make sure you like and subscribe it does help out the channel a lot and let's hop right into it. So we may need to make some class adjustments before we even get into the game. I'd recommend using the Ring of Fire if you aren't already, because you're most likely going to need it for this strategy. That 5 times damage is really going to come in handy. And then I would recommend using either the Stoner or the Hower Shotgun, because this is going to be used for the boss zombies and absolutely lasering the Orda. I find that if you want to kill the bosses really easily on the early rounds, then the Hower with the Task Force Barrel is definitely a good option. This strategy is going to be held in the weapons lab, so make sure that you do not buy the door behind me in the footage, because if you do, then we will not be able to do the strategy. I'd recommend getting the Reike through trials as well. One of the very strange things about the spot is that on the higher rounds, it may get a bit easier because they will be coming in faster. This may sound like a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing because this will speed up the rounds and you can flow from zombie to zombie easier. But to actually do the strategy, once the round starts, if you don't have your ring of fire, then you're going to want to shoot an orb on the ground. Shoot this three to four times with the automatic version of your AK, and then shoot another orb. Then shoot this orb three to four times with your AK. wait a second, and then shoot it to blow it up. Then if you don't have your ring again, you're going to want to shoot another orb and just instantly blow this up because there already should be a bunch of zombies on it. Then you can use your ring of fire and reload when possible. If there's any if there's any bosses in the room with you, then I'd also recommend taking those down as soon as possible because they actually can one hit you. Now all you're going to want to do is rinse and repeat this process until the round ends. It should be going by pretty fast and if you are worried about ammo, then I wouldn't be. Just because all of the mimics and manglers jumping in through the window per kill will drop ammo which will be equivalent to about 100 shots for the Ray K. However, if you somehow do run out of ammo, then there's an ammo box in a nearby garage outside. Some tips so that you can learn from my mistakes are to stand in this corner during your ring and not to crouch. Because as you can see, when I do end up crouching, I take some weird damage. And another thing is to, when you shoot the orb down, don't instantly blow it up like you see me doing here. This eventually ended up to me going down, and I think that the only reason I was doing this was because it was a high round and I hadn't had a break for a while. So if you feel like you need a break and you're not playing with people, then I'd recommend just pausing the game and taking one. Unfortunately, it looks like things may have gotten too hectic and you ended up going down. However, that's okay because there's many ways to recover and this is actually one of my favorite things about the spot. Wait until all of the zombies run out to pick yourself up, but make sure you don't lose your third perk, which should be Stamina Up Juggernaut or Quick Revive. Then throw a decoy out the room and buy armor. It should be a clean loop around this corner, however if it's not, then there's nothing wrong with using another decoy grenade because we, after a while you will end up having a lot of salvage. Then head to this workbench right here to craft yourself things such as more decoys, self revives, cruise missiles, and more. Then head through this teleporter right here and jump over the railing right as you get out. You're going to be heading down to the Winter Fizz and throw a decoy grenade at this counter right here. Then quickly buy all your perks and then in the next room you can buy armor if you need to right there. However, I wouldn't really recommend it just because it can be kind of dangerous. Then you just want to jump up and head all the way back to the spot and you've just recovered successfully. I'll now put gameplay of what an average round is going to look like in the spot. This is probably one of the most important parts, so I'd consider watching just so you know what each round will look like. Your
And that is going to be this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe as it is free and you can always change your mind. It helps out the channel a lot. Please have a great day or night and peace.